10 just spoke to me and she was like, I really fancy him. She was like, I've spent all day with him. She's like, I just really fancy him. So I, then I just got on my phone straight away and texted him and I was like, I'm literally talking to 10 right now. She really fancies you. Did you think Danny Aarons was going to win or Casey? Because it was a bit like them I two I thought Danny was going to win to tell you <laughs> the truth. Everyone knew in the nicest possible way, like it was going to be for them two. Some of the comments were so personal and I just thought, and it did kind of pl plant a bit of a seed and it made me think, oh, maybe I just shouldn't be doing this. And then I thought, Do you know what? Sodom, I don't care now. Hey guys, welcome to my podcast, Amy Charlize's Private Story with me. Amy Charlize. I'm so excited to have a place where I can share more about my life than ever before, spill some tea with you guys and also take you along on this crazy ride that is my life. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a 16 year old content creator with a passion for all things beauty, fashion and each week I'm going to be talking about everything from life as a teenager to friendships, relationships, social media and so much more. And I'm going to be joined by some amazing guests from social media stars to celebrities and even my own family to share their own private story. And I want you guys to get as involved as you can because honestly, I love hearing from you. So get in touch now with your latest stories, dilemmas and questions for us to work through together in this judgment free zone. So welcome to my private story. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Ami Charlize's Private Story. Today, there is actually two guests on the set, which feels really weird, but I'm so excited to have them on. So I've got George and Lisa Bags. How are you guys? Very good. Very good, thank you. Good, good. Honestly, it's been a while. I've wanted you on for ages, Lisa, especially. Sorry, George. Oh. <laughs> Me and Lisa were saying like, what, two months ago now? Is that please can you yeah, come it on? Was. Yeah, it was. It was about two months, months ago. Yeah, HLD I'll just leave party. you guys to it then today. It's sweet. He I'm weren't even at the party. God knows where he was, but yeah, it's nice. Nice to have oh, yeah. you guys Don't on. Don't need to know that information, guys. Oh. We, we said we'd keep it PG today. <laughs> So I'm <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, okay, so I've been literally so excited to have you guys on and we've got some questions for both of you. So obviously you've got a family YouTube, podcast, the roast dinners, it goes on. How often do you guys actually see each other? Because it seems like a lot. Seems like more than all I see time. time. Is it all the time? It's all the time. I love it, but she hates it. I need a rest. Really? No, it's fine though. It's fun. Do you know what I mean? Like what we're doing is is so fun. Like for it to be our job and stuff and just film and annoy each other and... You mean annoy me? Annoy mum. <laughs> Wreck the house. Annoy me. Yeah. Yeah. But George, do you sick. still live there or is it just Joe that's moved out? Yeah, no. So I still live at home, but I'm actually moving out. I signed the lease like yesterday. Oh. Um, oh. So that's just not funny. She's going to regret this <laughs> when you're gone. I know. No, I she won't. She I'm actually have a party. She, she's not. She's not. She's, <laughs> you, that house is so big for just two of them. I know. It's lovely, isn't it? Got the dog now. So yeah. it's left. Well, the dog's going to die soon. I hate when you say this. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. We say it all the time. The dog but is it's fine. It's been going strong two months since we had this conversation. I oh, know. What's it called? Dolly. 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 The dog's fine, but yeah, she's on her way up. Bless. So you're going to be moving out soon. How does that make you feel, though? <clears throat> Deep down. He's going to come back two or three days a I week will. to film content. I, said, I can't I get rid of Joe either. I no, said I'm going to come home to film content. I need to come home for a haircut. My uh, kids are called the boomerang boys because they just throw them away and then they always want to come back. They don't want to leave you, Lisa. Oh, they love I will you. be bringing washing back as well. No, you are not. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, washing back. But um, anyways, you guys have obviously been doing this for ages. Do you think your relationship's become closer since mm, doing it? No, I hate her. <laughs> do you feel, no, I'm actually joking. though, like, do you actually feel like you kind of get a bit bored of each other in the nicest way possible? I, I just, don't know, really. I get fed up with being told that I've got to do stuff. But it's, so we will tell mum she's got to do stuff and things like that, but it's all like... It's the, it's the with, deliverance. It's su with such a good heart. It's I say it with a good heart. Joe doesn't. I say it with a good heart. I'm like, if you do this, we'll, we can help you with this video and blah, blah. Joe's just like, you've got to do this and do oh, that. Yeah. But in like, still, we're trying to be nice. So do you think George is probably the nicer? No, George is definitely very... There's a very caring side to George. Yeah. It's very thoughtful. What about the other side? Yeah, but there's also the annoying side. That's well, same as you, really. You're only 21. <laughs> oh, right. So you're, you're still allowed to be annoying till you're about 30. And then it stops. Yeah, and so Danny's, Danny's, stopped. Danny's annoying. No, he's not to me. Oh. But obviously you guys have come out of your roast dinner um, YouTube channel on Spotify as well, which is pretty cool. How did this all come about? Whose idea was it? Well, it's because I cook a roast dinner every Sunday, and whether you're good I at want it, to or not. You're good at it, Joe told well, me. Apparently I am, but um, then every guest that he's ever had on the pod, he said, you must come round for a roast. So then the idea kind of sprung up that what a good idea to get people round and then film, film it. it. Yeah. But it is fun. Like, Why we just have I not there... been on yet, though? 
Don't talk to me. Talk to management. Good. <laughs> we'll have to talk to management in a minute. Honestly, I love no, a roast. No, we should get you and your mum on it. No, we did actually say about getting you guys. On. We've I've got only a list, got. We've got a list of guests, and you guys were yeah, on there. Yeah, I need um, to come on. No, it's. Really I have fun, roast though. dinners twice a week. It's the only dinner but I actually. But you know what? I'm eat. not going to lie. The only thing I can really cook okay is a chicken and gammon. I'm not very good with it. Anything else? <laughs> not the potatoes. The potatoes are alright. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, I'm just meaning the meat because my, oh. my roast beef comes out grey with like great big veins in it. It's not very nice. <laughs> Did you actually think you'd become known when no. you started? Did you want to before? No, I didn't have a choice, Amy. Because oh. in lockdown... Oh, I'm sorry. You you love it. Yeah, n- yeah, yeah no. now. She yeah, but comes out. As if, like, but in the hard. beginning, when I, TikTok <laughs> first came out in lockdown, yeah. I was followed around my house with a phone. You will come back from Tesco and go, you walk in and she'll be like... And I'm like, what's happened? She's like, well, some people just asked for a photo. Oh, yeah. she's she's like, that's that. actually she's not like, true. Because I get some very weird people no, as well. she's one of them. No, we never thought anything would come of it. It just was in lockdown. Joe was like, oh, imagine if people could see how like crazy where we knew obviously everyone was on their phones. Yeah. And obviously TikTok was like Massive. It's similar up, time like, to when I started. Yeah, so do you know I understand what I mean? So we it. just thought like, let's just post some videos. Yeah, and then... most of them are of me doing I... something wrong mm. or silly. Well, it's look. We've, do you know what? <laughs> you are an icon. Oh, and Emmy everyone says it. I told my mate the other day, she was in the car with me, and I was like, yeah, got a podcast app. And they was like, who've you got? I was like, Lisa and George. Oh, my God. <laughs> everyone loves you. I don't think you understand. I have to forget, though. I do forget, like, when I meet people, and especially younger children, and they say, oh, you know, or the mums might say, oh, my son or daughter loves you, and then I, instantly the penny drops, and I say, I'm so sorry about the swearing. I'm so dreadfully sorry. That's swearing, not the worst the part, drinking, though. The I don't think it's even the swearing at this point. Some of the things you come out with really make me laugh. <laughs> and it does make me think, because my mum's so, like... She wouldn't listen to that normally. But when it comes to you lot, she listens to it. And I'm like... Because <laughs> we're from Essex as well. It is an Essex thing, is I'm telling Essex you. Thing. I love it. Right, Lisa, I've got a question for you. Obviously, my family is literally the complete polar opposite. We're three girls. Three boys. You've got three boys. Mm-hmm. How is that for you, having three boys? Harsh. Is <laughs> very, it? very harsh. I can imagine you don't get much sympathy. I don't get any sympathy at all. And what no. I really, really miss is I've never got anyone to go shopping with, with which is what I absolutely detest, going shopping. Because I've got no one to carry my bags. You know, you know, jean shopping. I went jean shopping last Monday. Yeah. I must have tried on 18 pairs of jeans. And in the end, went into another shop, picked a pair up, didn't even try them on, and thought, they're going to have to do because I just I've had enough I'm, I'm traumatised it does get boring car. shopping alone and not. I can't bear it but um, obviously you've got bad parts but what's the good parts of having sons is there anything you can say come um, on be nice yeah there's got to be a few things well I mean now they're earning a good few quid I get some lovely presents oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait what did you do before wasn't it something to do with cars yeah I did work with cars I cleaned cars basically and just made tea and stuff and then oh. went on to this really random no, and you now you're here. You did something else. Okay, I went. Yeah, to, what did you do? I went to college. I and made him go. She made me go to college once I left school because I was going to go into that job full time. Yeah. And mum was like, "No, oh, you're not." So I did a plumbing and a carpentry course. So technically, like, I've got all my certificates to be a plumber and a carpenter. What the hell? Although he's absolutely useless indoors. If anything breaks, no, 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 I, oh, no. I don't actually, know. actually, I put my skills to the test last year. Do you remember? Because there was this leaking, and Dad was like. This is leaking, blah, blah. I was, I was like, bet that's condensation, right? I was like, I've seen it before when I did my course. He got this geese around, paid him 100 quid. And the guy was like, yeah, it's condensation. I was like, thank you very much. Just condensation. Just condensation. That's literally <laughs> it. Bless. So, yeah, what is the best part? You haven't told me. The best part? Well, I mean, we took you guys away for like New Year's for Dad's 60th and stuff. Oh, my God. That was nice. Mum done a 60th party for Dad the start of September and invited all of her mates and none of his. <laughs> That's such a new that thing to so do. New, <laughs> that is so bad. Like, she's moaning at me. But... Yeah, but you know why? Because a lot of dad's friends are all spread about and men don't no, socialise like no, women do. Don't him. make the effort. You yeah. did not give that man a chance. No, he, he loves you my said, friends. You said, Keely's coming, <laughs> Howard's loves coming. My friends. He you, does love you, my You told everyone that they're coming. Yeah, That's because I said. said to him, Would you like me to invite your friends? He went, oh, I'm not having people mixing. Mix. He's one of them. Yeah, she's he's, he's, he's so antisocial. So, no, but you, all the things you do from nice. They're nice boys. Oh, they Overall. are. No, they are. That's, that's the one good that's thing. You are lovely boys. Thanks, good. You're very polite. I was waiting for that. Thank <laughs> he's, you. He's Only because of it, I brought you up properly. Right, George, I have a question for you. Obviously, you did locked in. We're not going to touch too much because I feel like it's been... It's been rinsed. It has been rinsed just a it little bit. But it looked really good. Was it good? Yeah, it was sick. To it, be fair, locked in was unreal. Yeah. Where you're so used to having your phone and everything gets stripped away from know, you. I could to do be fair, that. I, it was I, like day two... It was fine. I wasn't checking my phone. It was more the contact to the outside world. Every day I've been speaking to my girlfriend, like mum and dad. I've never been away from them that long. So that's yeah. the hardest thing because as well, when you're in the house and you 
you, you walk around the garden, it's not like I'm a celeb and all things like that where you can't see anyone. You can see the crew walking around outside with a coffee on their phone. You're and like, they've got no idea, co concept of time No either. concept of time, but like you're that no. close. Like I could have just walked through them doors and seen the producer and be like, I want my phone back. But it's it's that's what's hard. Like you're so close to Two, reality. You've got you a bit emotional, one other 10 you? days, for example. Got huh? a bit emotional when yeah, they Yeah, I got emotional. Like, it's just hard like because again... Say, for example, if you're feeling down or whatever, you go on your phone, you watch a YouTube video, you might even go for a drive with your mum or something like that. Yeah. You couldn't do anything in there. No. So, like, so you have to just sit there and think about they it. They asked him if they wanted to give a message to his family and he, and he, he literally broke down on screen. I was absolutely Which, sobbing. No, it's because I knew they were going to send it to him. And like, But uh, other than that, like, and because everyone in there is all like, Foo said it, Star said it, Danny, ev everyone I spoke to, that was the hardest part of them. But overall, the experience was insane. Living it did in the house look and good. everyone... Always like pissing about every single day, having a laugh, doing crazy challenges. I had my cardboard cut out at home, which I, I used to saw talk to this, every and I was day. about to ask you about every it. day, and it's still in the lounge. Yeah, this it is, is actually, just, this is just so it. cute. It's just because I just. How did him. you react when he said he wants to go on there? Because obviously it's it's like TV, but it's I not didn't TV, think, isn't I, it? To be honest, my, I, I thought he won't. Got, I just thought he won't do it. But I don't he think she got the concept of it either. Your season has definitely been like the rise of it. Yeah. I think before I knew what Locked In was, but I'd never watched it. But then when yours come out, I think it was so hyped up. Like every video was getting like a million views well, in two we, days. We filmed five or six days in advance. Mm. So, we, so you come out when... We come out on like episode 10 or whatever. Right. So we, so got we had to, to go watch, incognito. Yeah, so I wasn't allowed to like go out, whatever. But we were like a week in and then they finally came in. They were like, we just want to tell you, like, we know you're a week in. You're all, they could see we're starting to like flag a little bit. But they were like, this episode has done like a million views in a couple of hours. They were like, this is the best it's ever done. So obviously that like lifted us all up. Yeah. Like, but the best thing as well was like, I've literally made friends for life out of that show. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I mean? Like, you've got me, really me close Me and Danny now. are so close. I knew you I, and Danny get I, on I well because you're nutty like I all the him. time. Foo, I was with Watson the other day. Like obviously Ash was like my big sister anyway. Did you think Danny Aarons was going to win or Casey? Because it was a bit like them I two thought Danny was going to win to tell you <laughs> the truth. Everyone knew in the nicest possible way. Like everyone knew it was going to be either them two. Yeah. Like we were literally talking to Sugar Lips when they were like, "Guys, we need a bit of content today. Like it's the last episode. Come on." We were just like, "Can you just announce Casey or Danny?" And like everyone was laughing, but we kind of knew. Yeah. Again, in the nicest possible way because they're just so big and they're so likable and whatever. And they um, have got such a big following that massive, like support, yeah. support, uh, which is really nice to see. But in that kind of situation, I was thinking. I thought it was going to be Casey from the get-go. He was like a little puppy, though, Danny was, wasn't he? Like a five-year-old yeah. on Christmas morning. I mean, him with stopped. the girls in there, everyone was like, oh, he's been so bad. I mean, you was completely different to Danny because you both had girlfriends in there, didn't yeah. you? And I think you come across completely different and then people were starting to go, oh, he's not nice to Casey. Did you know what it is? <laughs> he was just I know. like, so I felt a little hard. bit sorry you, you for him. You damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like, I was just trying to be respectful in all parties. Like me, like me and Casey, they, I came out and there was clips of us literally just talking and people would be like, Edits, yeah, look at like, the way they look at yeah, each other. Like, awkward interaction. Like, I'd literally just be like, how's your morning? Like, we'd be sitting outside, just had breakfast. Like, but yeah. then also, Danny, who would hug them or whatever, all of a sudden was getting rinsed and like, he's a flirt, he's this. You just can't win on things like that. You, you know actually I mean? can't. There's I just... think you you handled it well. I don't think you did anything wrong in that situation. Mm. On the topic, I was going to ask as well, what do you think of Danny and Ten? Love it. Right, Love so Tennessee it. come on this podcast. She was like my second guest. Saw that, yeah. She told me, oh, we went into Wonderland, we're going on another day. I couldn't obviously say anything. People were asking me after, like, do you think it's real? I was like, I think it's real. She <laughs> told me at the Christmas party. <laughs> Did she? She said to me that night, she went, I oh, really fancy Danny. And I went, excuse me. So I, I, I thought was like, on oh, the my thing, God. they're just in a house. There's not many boys in there. You know, and you're just kind of like, oh, he's She's fit. stunning, though, he's, isn't she? She is so oh, beautiful. She's I'll, unreal. I'll tell you how it happened, right? This is goss. So, oh, I, 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 don't know, I don't know if it's goss to be fair. <laughs> Basically, we were at the reunion. He went home, and then we all went for some drinks afterwards. And he, he, yeah, he was just like driving home, or whatever. And ten, ten just spoke to me, and she was like, "I really fancy him." She was like, "I've spent all day with him." She's like, "I just really fancy him." So I, then I just got on my phone straight away and texted him, and I was like, "I'm literally talking to ten right now. She really fancies you." And then he had a side men shoot with her, yeah. and he was like, "Look, like." Sod it, let's go to Winter Wonderland. They did that, started speaking a bit. Now then, look at it. Days later, like, you start getting all the pictures sent yeah, through. Not, not bad stuff, no, by no, the way. No, nothing rude. Just, just like he bought, like, <laughs> a, he bought like a gift and like he oh. was like, he like sent me a picture and he was round there and stuff. And like I was getting all the updates. And then he kind of wanted to go like public with it. Well, he like before Christmas, but then obviously they out just waited. Out of respect till, though. For yeah, it. they just waited until the new year out of respect, whatever. And then... Like, they're, they're so good, though. It's so nice to see. He's like, so I'm, polite. Because the thing is, I was on a shoot the other day for Shannon's YouTube. Yeah. And it's, like, so natural. Like, they're all over each other, but in such a good way. Like, yeah, I don't think forced, they're overly... It doesn't look false at all. That's why I said... Nothing is forced. They're genuinely, like... But I, you would like, never put them so two nice. together, would you, ever, in a zillion years? At the beginning, 
I just didn't see it. Yeah. Last one for you, George. Obviously, you're in a relationship with your girlfriend. What's her actual name? It's not Lolly, is it? Lauren. Lauren. You're with Lauren. How's it actually going? It looks really, really cute. I remember when you dropped it on your close friends first, and I was like, ooh. Yeah, no, it's really Who's good. Who's this? I think it's because everyone since they've followed me has known me as like a hopeless romantic and all this sort of stuff, whatever. And I've never really... I haven't actually been looking for a girlfriend, and I, I hadn't... Like, How did you meet? We met at a rave. <laughs> we, right, listen, no, 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 hear me out. So, hear me out. Right. I probably heard this story about five So we times. met at a rave and then I actually had gone through and liked one of her pictures from like June the year before. But the night before I'd done that. So right. for us to bump into each other at the the bar Is and her be like, Is that you? Typhi. And I was like, Oh, yeah. And then we got talking anyway. And then it turns out she was like 10 minutes from Joe in London. And then I was like, Okay, fine, I'll take you on a date, whatever. And then. Okay, she, fine, I'll just take she, you on She posted a day. on her story that she was going. To, going on holiday and I was like oh where are you going like I was meant to be taking you on a date and she was like Ibiza and I was like oh so am I like we would literally go into Ibiza for this exact same time planned it we then ended up like <laughs> meeting out there going on a date extending our holiday I flew back with her and then from then on really we just saw each other he and... basically you know was in love and as then, soon as he came home well, not oh. really but it was like, but it was like a holiday were... romance that actually is like blossomed into something but what was nice yeah. there was no like awkward stages and stuff like that because we were on holiday together we she, Basically she, she lived met, with her. Yeah, for she a while. met she met Joe out there. Like Joe was the seal of approval straight away, sort of thing. Oh, and then did um, you approve straight away, Lisa? I can't remember how soon into it. I met you Lauren. met Lauren when we went to um, Dubai. So like that was October. She's so quiet though. I said to her look, when the first time I ever met her, I said you're going to need a lay she, down. She's not, she's, the thing is, she's us. not really quiet. We are all just so loud. Like she will speak like when spoken to and stuff like that. But yeah. obviously we are so, we are a very but overpowering she, family. She she. Bless her, I said, you all need to lay down. She's like this. And then we went to... Find the table. Bless her, I can imagine <laughs> that roast dinner. Like There's dinner, nothing I don't like about her. It's lovely, And that's the best part. Mm. Seal of approval from everyone. Yeah. Love that. Right, okay. The group questions have come to an end. Um, but you guys are all so busy and I just wanted to ask you, what's coming up? Is there uh, anything that you can say? Because I feel like we always go... Just the pod's been revamped. We're getting season two on the pod. We're getting a whole Ooh. new set. whole new set. Mum's coming in. Because a, I am... The new host. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, it was the split, wasn't the it? The new co-host. So we're still going. Oh, he doesn't like me saying host. He's because I'm a co-host. You're a co-host. Thank you very much. <laughs> we're going into like this. It's going to be basically the same sort of vibe as we've got now, but a lot more amplified. George, I feel like your content's kind of changing a bit, but in a good way for you. Yeah. A bit more football stuff. It's more individual. Danny. It's not so much him and Joe now, I think. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's nice that we've still got the pod together, me and Joe, but obviously you've got. i got to look at it realistically I went on to a show like Locked In he's carried on doing his thing he wants to go into different things he's a 26 year old gay man I'm 21 straight like there is a he's lot a of lad. differences he's a, a lad. Lad. he's a lad he's an Arsenal lad um, <laughs> so yeah but we're obviously always going to do stuff together I'm starting up my own YouTube oh um, cool so that'll be fun we'll be, I'll be doing stuff with Joe like football vids whatever like obviously as well my content's had to kind of change a little bit because like I've got a girlfriend now, which obviously my videos before were just like thirst traps and whatever. Like obviously things things change with time. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry about it. What the and hell then, is a thirst trap uh, when it's at home? But yeah, and then like obviously coming off a of locked in, I got bigger male audience and stuff. So every like things have changed like that, but it should be really good. Like in 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 my new place, we're gonna have like the second room as like a studio and stuff. So it's it should be fun. Like me and Joe are gonna be touring the pod as well, and Mum hopefully. Oh, I've been really? told. Yeah, in I've the been summer, told. Which should be fun. So they told me so to block good. out two weeks, and I said, do you know the first thing I said? What? what about the dog? Oh, God. oh. I said she oh. can come with you. So oh. Get a little camper van, bring her along. She can come on stage with a little nappy on. We're just Bless this year, though, Is she we at all... the nappy stage? Well, she's <laughs> she's not that bad. <laughs> I know she's I know she's, just I am, away. she's not. <laughs> if she's that bad, he keeps going, oh, she's gonna die. Yeah, so I know. Bad. Don't say that. Oh. But, um, yeah, so we are doing we're touring. That's amazing. We're just going back to like, it's you, not that as, we've, as if we've changed a lot, but we're just going to go back to the funny family relatability stuff because people love that sort of stuff. And we love doing yeah. that, do you know what I mean? That's why like we're spending a lot more time together now and all things like that because it's just fun to do. do you know and what I, I mean? love podcasts. I don't stop talking. So for me, it's absolutely win-win. Yeah, it, is. it is honestly like love a it. It's true. keep going, Lisa. Yeah, I just love, love it. that. Right, okay. I'm going to play a game with you guys, but we're playing it a little bit different than I normally do. So it's pick an X. I'm going to give you three different topics about each other. And I know Joe's not here, but we're going to bring him into it. Um, and you've got to give me a pick and a nick. So something that you love about them, something you hate about them. Right. So be personal, dig deep, right? Okay. This isn't going to be hard. First of all, give me one about Lisa, George. An ick will be how? No, I'm joking. Uh, probably your chewing. Does she chew? She will eat a packet of crisps. Yeah, but I'm deaf, so I can't. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So to me, I don't or think like, I'm. It sounds like a horse <laughs> chewing a carrot. I've got implants all the way now. It doesn't there. matter. It's so crazy. Yeah, but it's lovely because I finally can, can crunch. I will be upstairs, and... right? 
walking around the landing and she will have she'll have the TV on and I can still hear her in the kitchen going I won't tell you what I can hear when you're walking around the landing upstairs what we wait for that I've got mine coming in a sec oh okay right give me a pick Saying you like a baby mum. <laughs> um, what could I say? To be fair, there's a lot to... You are really funny. She's, yeah. she's really funny, so it is good. Like, There's never really bad days and And you're and very stuff, welcoming, cause... I think. Thank you. Like, when you first meet her, she's not one of their mums that's, like, cold. You're very, like, well. Oh, warm, I just nice. yeah, put me in a room full of strangers and I'll have a whale of a time. <laughs> that's <laughs> a oh, shock. I don't be like that. I'll <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> be <laughs> chatting to everyone. We say keep it BG. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> keep it BG. Right, Lisa, go on. Who you want about George? Pick. He's very caring and he's very loving. Yeah. You know, there are times when I've had, you know, like things have happened during the day and I've been a bit upset and he's come home with a massive bunch of flowers. Aww. And he will, he will, he did actually cuddle me when he came out of Foot Asylum. Foot Asylum? Locked, Locked in, in yeah. yeah. When he yeah. came out, because it, since he's been with Lauren, I don't get the hugs anymore. And he did come up behind Aww. me and he put, he cuddled me and I was like, oh, he missed I'm me. I'm waiting for the... Ick. Yeah, I'm waiting Come for this. On. I was waiting for the butt. Right, the ick. It, he burps like Will Farrell in in Elf, Elf. and, and he, that's all he does, and it actually makes me want to be sick. No, it's because I, I eat can't really burp. Quick. So oh, he right. just and he, you one of them people. I can't. I've do inward ones. I can't burp. Inward burp. Inward. I can't burp. And he walks around going, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. No, not normally. Actually... It's just like so today. I had a uh, what did I have? I had a sweet chili wrap. And then like a monster. Within seconds, though. Within seconds. And like a monster, but obviously I'm just like, yeah, it ain't great, is it? And it's Go so loud. loud. It is loud. It's yeah. so loud. It's really And loud. also the farting as well. We're all quite it a windy family, one, though. We're all quite a windy family. We are all quite a windy family, to be honest. We are. Our bowels are not great. What about your dog? Yeah. Oh, she's, she's, she stinks all the time. Yeah, she's so. like my dog. She's she reeks. <laughs> right, last one. I know he's not here, but Joe, give us something you love and you hate about Joe. He's very good at, uh, nurturing me and you he's he's a real he's like yeah Joe always wants the best for us which is nice like, yeah nice. and he, he's kind of been the brains behind he's like it the all driving and... force behind the family we, we've always said without Joe we we would we may have a following or whatever but we'd never be like where you are now he's so where creative are, yeah. and, he, and he's got things that he sometimes says to me oh, I've just thought about this for you and he does it with George he's looked after both of us which yeah, is lovely he's good he, he, he rarely thinks about himself before others do you know what I mean like, I like he's always that. thinking about others he wants us to he wants to get the best out of us doesn't he what's his Oh, his toilet troubles, but we won't talk about them. Or, or, not... or his toenails, lack of toenails. Oh. He, he just, like, he just like lost. No, no. Right, okay, this is gonna <laughs> really. I just want to put it out there. He has toenails. <laughs> He's lo he lost his big toes. He went into a phase when he was running a lot. Yeah, and, he and so and he had it were like really bad training. But so they he took his toenails off. <laughs> they never grew back properly, so they're just quite weird. His toenails. I spent like a twelve-hour day with him um, at the Pretty Little Thing shoot. And Joe. yeah, went on for hours and he was just like popping out the jokes. You know, and everyone's just sitting there, even Chloe Burrows at this point's a bit quiet because we're all just tired and hungry. And he's just like coming out of all this funny stuff. My mum loved him. <laughs> this was the moment my mum was like, I, I love him. I've always said. He's got a great sense of humour. I've fume, always mom. said the devil works hard, but Joe Bags works harder. Yeah. And it's true. But do you know what? Yeah. When he was little, he was a really quiet, really reserved little boy. I don't see this He though. was. He used to be hanging off my hip. He, he, he was terrible going to school. I'd get the phone call. Mrs. Bags, could you please come and pick Joe up because he's really not settling. <laughs> Look at him now. Mate, he could settle anywhere. Bloody diva. Honestly. Yeah, he? I feel like it's since he came out gay all them years ago, he just, it's... It's like a release yeah, for him. I mean, it's, it's been just... a long time now. It's been 12 yeah. years. Something 12 like, years? Yeah. I can't, wow. It's the funniest thing is I can't believe they never realised he was gay. He had girlfriends. <laughs> but you actually didn't realise. He listened to like Spice Girls, like all these <laughs> things. There's nothing wrong with that. I love the Spice Girls. Like, all this stuff and mum and dad just never realised. Do you remember the Gap, the store, no, yeah. Gay and Proud? And he'd go to me, Gay and Proud, and go, I'm not wearing that. All right. <laughs> Two years later, he's Gay and, and Proud. And he's taking the mick out of George Michael, my absolute idol and hero. And then I just didn't know. I've heard about you and George Michael. Oh, I was named after him. Was I, you actually? Yes. That's true, yeah. And I was, his middle name was going to be Michael until Terry stepped in and went, no, 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 no. That is crazy. I'd have with somebody in the crowd at his last concert because she said I love him so you don't love him more than me she went I do I said well I called my little boy she said I'm allowed to do this we said he ends up having a fight <laughs> oh I need to see this right guys we're going to move on to some listener questions we've got a few um, and if you are listening to this or watching this make sure to get in touch now at Amy Charlize's private story um, we're going to read a few so Ellie has said have you ever regretted doing the job we do so social media never Never, no, no, never. But it's just it was difficult in the beginning when we were we were told not to look at anything on social media, like you know negative stuff. Yeah. And out of curiosity, one day I did, and it really did. I thought 
oh god it's like it really you upset actually, me like don't think you're doing it but sometimes you change the way you do things mm. because yeah. you've the comments I mean, you read some of the comments were so personal and I just thought and it did kind of pl- plant a bit of a seed and it made me think oh maybe I just shouldn't be doing this and then I thought do you know what Sodom I don't care now away no. from that though it's like a job where I am grateful I do it every single day considering what I've done before like outside the look at me I've got a career at 54 yeah, I'll like, just stay at home mum for all them years and the it's nicest crazy. thing is, is that I never ever ever done it and we were actually me and Joe and stuff like that really late into it like starting to earn money like we'd go to events people like you're, you're still working and we'd be like yeah like we we like we still do it for fun but we did it for so long without any rewards because we mm. just it, do you know what I mean it's just what we'd always wanted to do um, and it's just the way you can like travel the world with it and all stuff like that it's, it's an amazing job yeah. I always think that as well like it's and it, do you know what it could all in tomorrow as well do you know what I mean That's you just got to grab it both hands yeah. and just, just run with it while it's you know while it's so everyone's so popular yeah love it Right, Lucy has said, who is your favourite member? This is for you, George, um, from Locked In. I guess you can tell us as well. I mean, you I was only really so for I'm me because I've met Danny, him and he's he was lovely. my boy in there. It was like, because everyone also had their kind of like friend, like close friends. So it's like Fu yeah. and Star knew each other. You have like Ash and Joyce, Shannon and Watson were quite close. Casey and Ten. Casey and Ten, you had everyone. So it was just me and Danny. And yeah, we just clicked from like instantly the day one, and I'm still really good friends with him now. I speak to him to most like with most days stuff. Aww. So yeah, probably that's Dan. cute. So you say Danny as well? Yeah, probably. Uh, but then I like Ash as well. That is all the questions we've got for today. So thank you everyone that sent them in, um, and please make sure to DM us at Amy Charlize's private story. Um, right, we get to the end, and I'm sad, Aww. but I've got to ask you something. Uh-oh. Have you guys got a private story, George? Have you got Snapchat? Yeah. Have you got a private story name? On your private story? I'm pretty sure just call, it's called Bagsy's Private. Your name's pretty boring, but I need to ask you guys <laughs> for the private story. I, it can be you two together as a family, like a family holiday maybe you've been on that something really funny's happened. Obviously, kind of keep it PG. <laughs> <laughs> we got loads. Oh. Mum, you've... The one where you slipped... I think that's hilarious. Oh, that wasn't in funny. Cornwall. I really hurt myself. She, she, she slipped in Cornwall? Yeah, she slipped down Through these... tropical gardens. I had <laughs> brand new flip-flops on and went... She just uh, went down. Down. We've had, Very heavy. We had when we were in Ooh. Italy and I locked her out on the balcony and she nearly pooed herself. <laughs> That because I was hilarious. having, I was being really, very naughty, and I was having a cigarette at the time. And then, as George left me on the balcony, he put the handle it. up, and I went to go, and I thought, um, he's locked the door, and I needed to go to the toilet immediately. <laughs> She's like, Help! And then I was literally shouting help over this balcony. Can you imagine you're walking down in Italy and like looking up in his leaves like help. And I phoned my husband's phone and it's going off on the bed. I can see it. And I thought, what do I do? He left his phone in the he, His phone was charging. So I had to phone main reception. I said, please, can somebody come and please can somebody let me out because Believe I actually me. need the toilet. We've had, yeah, we've had some... George, you're awful. We've had some embarrassing things happen on holiday. And that, to be fair, like a private thing that not many people know about me is I did play for Arsenal for a bit as well. No, you did. You did, did. Arsenal yeah. Youth. Yeah. Oh my God. And then I got How released, old were you? Like 12. Till you was about 14. No, so t- no, t- I was like 12, 13. And then they just sat us down one day and they were like, yeah, we're releasing you. No, the whole, no, the whole have been shut down, didn't it? No, no, they no, they, no, they, no, they hadn't. They'd released some kids and then like into into like other thingies and they got I mean to he was playing clubs, against but... kids that were like seven foot tall and because he's quite small that's oh, why yeah. they so then I went to Sunday League and then yeah, so are you still in Sunday League or no? no, no. As as he's say, so, still so small they want to just take his ankles off and also having a following men oh. will probably get a bit rowdy you know yeah. that's what I mean they'd want to hurt him yeah. I was that mother at the side leave my child alone would I you do a fight them. though no I want to do Miss no you're not I do. Well, not, I, I want to do misfits. Not doing, do, it. Yeah. not doing it. I said to my my mum's like you. Yeah. She's like, no, no you're never doing misfits. My dad wants me to do misfits. I, to be fair, I wanted to fight Max Kadar, but I, he, we we're actually so sweet. Like he's such a good guy. We had a phone call and stuff, and he's fine. Like it was it was fake beef anyway. But right. I thought like I could actually fight him. But we're, you we're are sweet, not fighting anyone. I'd love to. I'd love. I know, like Danny's going on a card, and that I'd love to be on a, on the same card as Danny or something. You could not be, fight. Danny, you could be but. the ring walker. Oh please. They'll be holding hands. It won't be Tennessee. It'll be <laughs> George and Danny like walking around. Oh, that'd be good though. That'd be fun. I think, yeah, you should definitely do Misfits. It's quite cool. Right, guys, thank you so, so much for coming on though. Thanks thank you. It's been a pleasure. Now. Guys, thank you so much for listening to this episode of the podcast. I've had so much fun with these guys. Please make sure now you're subscribed to us on YouTube as well as following and listening on Spotify or your podcast app of choice. And please make sure to like, comment and leave a review now. And please make sure to get in touch now with your questions, stories and dilemmas. I honestly, 
honestly love hearing from you guys. It's been so much fun. But you can get in contact now via Instagram at Amy Charlize's private story. And you can also follow me on TikTok. Bye. Bye.